Hey, what's up ladies and gents? Welcome to another eFootball 2024 video where I want to talk about fullback finishers playstyle. So it's a player playstyle and that position is only occupied in the fullback positions. And I've got two here. I've got Joao Cancelo who is a fullback finisher and Trent Alexander-Arnold who is also a fullback finisher. So what we're going to do is analyze just how they're playing, what they're doing and how they're behaving in your team setup. Now one key thing to know is I am using Arteta and I'm playing a possession based team style. So you need to know that before we get into the match but it doesn't really have an impact on the player play style, certainly not the fullback finishers from an offensive point of view which is going to be the main focus just to understand what they're doing, how they're defending, how they're attacking and we're going to be one nil down, no we're not. So Quadrado gets taken or dispossessed here and obviously Trent Alexander-Arnold was high at the pitch so he's going to leave you a little bit short in defence with these fullback finishers much like the attacking fullbacks as well. Now I think this is very interesting with the fullback finishers. Now at the top we've got DiMarco and Jarl Cancelo very close together at the top of the screen and because I was attacking on the left hand side Joao Cancelo is going forward, but as soon as I switch it to the right-hand side, watch his behavior. He's still going forward here, but suddenly, when he realizes he's not going to get the ball, when I'm drifting into the wide area here, he's running back. I play the ball out to Quadrado, and now look who's coming forward. Edge of the screen here, just entered. It's Trent Alexander-Arnold. And he's going to literally just keep bursting into the penalty box here. But it looks like the fullback finishers are on a string so when one is going forward the other is staying back but it depends on the side of the field you attack with so if you do swap from left to right or right to left expect that player to go back and defend so if you're going from left to right then Joel Cancelo is going to retreat if you're right to left then Trent alexander is going to retreat and I think that's really important and interesting. What I would like to see instead of him bursting into the box here, I would like to see him more or less here and hold his position. Be a false fullback rather than one who drives into the box. But there, at the minute in this game, there isn't that player that just sort of sits here and waits for the ball. Not that I've seen it anyway. The only players that would occupy that position is the sort of orchestrator role as a defensive midfielder. That's why I tend to have have two players that sort of just sit there like that. Oh what a header from DeMarco. It's a beautiful ball in after that foul on Joel Cancelo. And what a header that is. Absolutely perfect. I always go for the dash and hold in these scenarios. Some players will hold, some players will dash. I just find that's the best for indirect free kicks. Or free kicks where you don't want to try and shoot and score from. I think this is very interesting as well. So the ball is crossed in. Caught by Neuer, but look at Trent Alexander-Arnold here. Number 66, sort of middle of your screen at the bottom. Number 66, watch how he gets forward. Look at him bomb forward now. That is great from an offensive point of view, because he's up there with Quadrado now. If he can get the flick on there, great. But now he's lost the ball, there is a little bit of danger there. Now I'm left with three at the back instead of the four. So great from an offensive point of view. He's literally sprinting forward in those scenarios. Oof, not bad after that, but I would like to see him hold his position a little bit more, maybe. It's a little bit too early to start making runs forward. But look at this Frankie Dion picks up the ball. I think the possession based play style reeled him in there a little bit. We saw him sort of go back towards my player instead of just continuing to charge forward. But where is Trent Alexander-Arnold here? Why is he not 
He sort of sat in the position I wanted to be sat in. So why, all of a sudden, is he hanging back? Before we saw him break into the penalty box at this stage. I haven't lost the ball. He still maintained the ball. That's where I want him. So why is he sort of stood there now? He's still... He still sort of stood there. Now, before we saw him break into the penalty box, and that's all I've ever seen fullback finishers do. So I'm surprised why he's suddenly, for un some unknown reason, changed his mind. I may have to go back and look at the attacking strategy of Juventus and compare it to mine. Because it's neutral now. Was it set to attacking? Was it set to defensive? Was there something that they were doing that's triggered the change in his behaviour? We'll see again if uh, if we get another attack on that side. Oh, good effort and good save. Let's see if we get another attack on that side. To see if he still bombs forward into the penalty box or whether he's going to hold his position. Like I said, I'll go back and review the footage and see if it's down to them having an attacking strategy. If it is, that kind of sucks. And that sucks even more. Here's Joel Cancelo. Great ball in. Oh, what a defensive header that is. What an incredible defensive header. Okay, DeMarco has the ball. He's in the wide area. And he's just going to play that ball in the channel. And I do kind of like that. Like I said, they're going to get closer to the penalty box. And if you've been watching my attacking tutorial, if you can cross inside the penalty box, you're going to have a far greater chance of scoring from crosses. And I tell you what, that is one of the best defensive headers I've seen in the game. Okay, so here we see Gerard Gonzalo play the ball into Leroy Sané. Sané's off, driving into the box. We can see Gerard Gonzalo there getting forward. And like I said, they're on a string. And to be honest, with the fullback finishing positioning, look where Trent Alexander-Arnold is. Why is he drifting from, like, the right-hand side to central to left side? I've seen him all over the place defensively. And these full-back finishes are so unreliable, in my opinion, from a defensive point of view. They're literally all over the place. They're very narrow, but they could be anywhere. But again, Jog Cancelo, I think... You know, if I don't cross it, he's driving into the box there. But he does actually hold his run when the cross goes in. Nice little pocket of space. Joel Cancelo picked up that. I like that. Musilia! With the winner. And it's Joao Cancelo picking up the ball out of pocket of space. So there we are, ladies and gents. That is pretty much going to, going to conclude this uh, fullback finisher review. So let me just summarise a few points. So defensively, they're pretty much all over the place. But offensively, they are on the inside of your wingers generally. Especially if, they're, if you're playing with cross specialists, they're going to sit inside. They are going to be inverted fullbacks. And... They work on a string, so depending on which side of the field you attack, if you're attacking on the left-hand side, then the left-sided player will get forward. So they will act like they're on a string. So one will go forward, one will stay back. Here's Jar Cancelo again. Can we add to that lead? Oh, yes, we do. Through Dwight York. There's Joao Cancelo driving in from that wide area. Beautiful cutback. And York with a simple tap in. Killing any hope of a fight back from Juve. Number 10. 
So there we are, ladies and gents. Let me know your thoughts about fullback finishers. What's your been your experience? For me, defensively, they're all over the place. Especially to take online. I think offline, they, they're a lot of fun. You know, charging into those good areas. Inside the penalty box. Just sitting outside the penalty box. So, yeah. Be interested to know your thoughts as well. Anyway, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.